Hey everybody, welcome to Make a Map with Batfoot, and today I'm going to show you how to make a map using Dungeon Alchemist, which you can download from Steam, and it is March 31st, 2022, today, on the making of this movie, which means Dungeon Alchemist just released today. Uh, I've been playing with it for a while in Kickstarter's early release, uh, so I'm going to show you how to use the basic interface today. Uh, when you start, you can go to File, and you can go to uh, Create a New Map, which is what we got here. You'll have a choice of Print, which is going to limit your size, or Digital, which will give you an unlimited use. And then you can set the dimensions if you would like. And then um, you can choose Dark Parchment, which is what you want for a dungeon, or forest, or grasslands. We're going to use Dark Parchment today, and I'm going to hit Create. And then you can see I've got a screen here. Um, and I can come over here to this interface. Uh, this is my draw room interface, and I can choose sort of the, the styles that I want. Let's say I'm going to make a mansion today, and I want to start with, let's say, the Great Hall. I can simply draw out the size I want, and it'll give me the option. I could, I could add you know, to it if I wanted to also add some stuff to it. And once I've got kind of the basics that I want here, I can um, click this, and I've got the AI on, so what you can see is that uh, it just simply populates it for me. And there it is. I've got some things on the wall. Uh, if I wanted to add a bedroom or something off to the side, I could do that pretty easily, and it's going to give me bedroom furniture. Oh, that's, look up. that's a bathroom. That's not a bedroom. Let's say I wanted a bedroom in stair instead. Uh, I can put a I can put a bedroom on there very easily, and it's gonna it's gonna use the AI to add stuff to it. So I can also take away stuff if I want to remove a room. I can do that, and I can also edit the room um, in any way I want. So if I want to just come over here and click on it, I can change the theme. Uh, let's say I want it to be the cellar, um, which wouldn't make sense, but I can. Um, do that. Now, I can also rotate it. I'm pressing the space bar right now. You can see I can rotate the whole view around um, to see it in any way I want. I could take, uh, I could use this. There will be a per first person view supported eventually, but I could kind of do this to get a, a player's view if I wanted to do that. Um, or I can go up here and I can press this and I get a top down sort of orthographic view. I can get my favorite, which is this little bit of perspective 3D view, and then I can also just sort of rotate it. Um, so there you have uh, the basics. Now if I want to, I can um, place objects. There's tons and tons of objects. I can go, let's say we thought we needed to decorate these walls a little bit. I could go to my decorations, put up some, put up some oil paintings here if I wanted to do that. And I can rotate this, this around. Um, I don't really like where that is, so I can just take it and move it. Everything is super simple on the, inter on the interface here. Very easy to do. Uh, tons of different objects from food to all sorts of furniture to different kind of lights. And the lights are animated everything in here a lot of things in here are animated so if i want to put a say a torch in here um, it's going to animate the flame i can also turn it off take it out turn it on um, and all sorts of lights i can put in here i'm going to do that just to show you why this is going to be important um, i can put some lights in here and uh, there's there's natural things there's storage there's stairs up and there's a uh, these sort of up and down structural things. If I want to put some stairs down in here, I could, I could, I could make that happen. Uh, very easy, very easy to interface any of this stuff. Um, anything can be uh, sh shrunken and 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 enlarged in uh, any way you want. At least most things can. And. Uh, then there's all sorts of different items. Um, each one of these categories has a ton of things in it. So you're, you're going to see that there's just a lot of stuff you could put uh, 
in here if you want to and it all looks absolutely beautiful as you start making your your dungeons you you could in fact put this on just run this on a on a VTT and it would be animated if you were on a virtual tabletop or you could you can import it I can uh, I can go to doors if I want some doors different places I can I can add uh, let's say some wooden doors I want to put some doors over here I can do it it's I, I, I don't have to do much to do it I just I just point and the AI fixes it for me um, and I can place all kinds of different walls if I would like to um, I can change all the walls in the room let's see I want to make them a different wall configuration than they are I'll just come in here and it'll change all the walls to that different paneling or I can change them to this if I wanted to very easily I can also uh, edit an individual wall let's say I just wanted one one wall to be different I can do that um, look, I've got a secret door almost and I can also take them away uh, okay so um, I can do the same thing with uh, windows if I want some cool uh, windows I can put those um, I can put those in here very easily um, and uh, then I can also change the flooring if I want to say I don't like the wood floor and I want to put a better different wood floor in here I can easily just draw it out the way I want super easy super fun to do um, makes you feel like an interior designer this is just super easy and super fun to do um, and then and then one of my favorite things is the light settings here um, let's get back into the center here I can I can make it uh, different light settings if I want and with uh, with the lighting that I do have if it's nighttime you can see these lights will uh, sort of brighten things up I can also change um, the coloration I can change the uh, the brightness and sort of the height of the um, of the light to make it different I can put a filter on it to make it look uh, however I want um, so really really fun and easy to do and um, it just resets if you click right there so there you set there you have a little um, dungeon alchemist uh, basics and you can see this is super fun to do now let's say I want to um, export it I can go up here to the export file I can choose export and I'm able to do that as um, an image I can do it in foundry fantasy grounds roll 20 or a universal VTT export and it's pretty easy to do that um, and so that is your basic dungeon alchemist interface again um, lots of fun before we uh, go, let me uh, show you some of the things that I have done. For example, on this, um, open up one of my favorites, which is this massive crypt that I made. Um, and you can play with this for hours. Um, here is my big old crypt. I spent hours and hours, maybe too many hours messing around with this with this thing and uh, really have enjoyed um, playing around with this especially just populating each little room has been really fun to do a, a couple other things that I've that I have done with this that's that's been uh, fun to do is um, you can take you can take shots of an individual room if you wanted to screenshot this, for example, and just print this out as a tile or whatever. Uh, you can also um, take a screen movie of this, like I'm doing right now, and you would have yourself an animated map that you could um, put sound effects on or whatever you like. And you can always move the objects around if, if you're playing this and you're just using this on a VTT, for example. And you've got you know miniature figures on top of your TV. Somebody takes the lantern. You can just go okay. 
whatever. They turn it off, boom, there it goes. Um, you can move things around, all sorts of stuff. Um, had a lot of fun creating this giant, giant um, thing. Now, um, all, all of my crypt levels, I've got uh, five here so far, uh, are on my Patreon, the Gremlin Brothers Patreon. And I would say if you're a creator, the um, the uh, Dungeon Alchemist has a very liberal um, has a very liberal use policy, so you don't have to pay if you make under a hundred thousand dollars a year. You can just make it and release it. I've got it on Patreon and Pathfinder Infinite and all kinds of places. Um, and uh, I'm not making a hundred thousand dollars, but I'm having so much fun. So, um, take a look at this. Highly recommend it. Come on over to the Patreon, uh, chat with us, hang out with us. Uh, we've got a creator tier so you can use the stuff in your own dungeons. Um, 10 bucks a month and we'll help you. We'll, um, we love to help new creators. Um, so anyway, lots of fun here on Dungeon Alchemist. We'll see you later.